Hi everyone, I am Sujit from class 8. In this presentation video, I am going to explain about the topic concepts of transversal. So without the delay, let's start. Now I will explain you about what is a transversal. So first I will say you the definition. A straight line which cuts two or more even straight lines is called as a transversal. Now I will explain you about the transversal with the help of this diagram. So here there are two straight lines and there is one straight line which is intersecting this two straight lines it is intersecting the first straight line at this point and it is intersecting the another straight line at this point hence this line which is uh, intersecting this two straight lines is called as a transversal so now i will show you an another example so in this figure a straight line xy cuts or intersects the other two straight lines AB and CD. As we can see in this figure, there are two straight lines AB and the line CD. So here the line XY intersects the line AB at this point and it intersects the line CD at this point. Henceforth the transversal in this figure is the line XY. So, so now let's see the next one. When a tra transversal cuts or intersects two or more given straight lines, the following pairs of angles are formed. So when a transversal cuts or intersects two or more given straight line, some pairs of angles are formed. They are two pairs of interior alternate angles, two pairs of exterior alternate angles, four pairs of corresponding angles two pairs of co-interior or allied angles so now let us see them one by one so the first one is the interior alternate angle in this figure there are two straight lines ab and the line cd and there is one transversal called xy in the interior part of the two straight lines, if the angles are formed on the alternate sides of the transversal, they are known as interior alternate angles. In this figure, ang uh, angle 6 and the angle 3 are the one pair of interior alternate angles. Angle 5 and angle 4 are, are the another pair of interior alternate angles. So there are two pairs of interior alternate angles so now let's see the next one exterior alternate angle in the exterior part of the two straight lines if the angles formed on the alternate sides of the transversal then the angles are called as exterior alternate angles the angle 8 and the angle 1 are the one pair of exterior alternate angles and angle 7 and the angle 2 are the another pair of exterior alternate angles so now let's see the next one that is corresponding angles corresponding angles if an angle is formed at the exterior part of the two straight line and the another angle is formed at the interior part of the straight lines lying on the same side of the transversal are called as corresponding angles in this figure angle 8 and the angle 4 are the one pair of corresponding angles and another pair is angle 6 and the angle 2 angle 7 and the angle 3 are the another pair of corresponding angles angle 5 and angle 1 are the another pairs of corresponding angles so there are four pairs of corresponding angles so now let's see the next one that is co-interior or allied angles co-interior or allied angles 
in the interior part of the two straight line if the angles are formed on the same side of the transversal then the angles are called as co interior or allied angle as you can see in this figure angle 6 and and angle formed uh, and angle 4 is formed on the same side of the tra transversal that is on the left side so therefore angle 6 and angle 4 are the one pair of co interior or or allied angles and angle 5 and the angle 3 are the another pair of co interior or allied angles so there are two pairs of co interior or allied angle so now next so now let's see the next one that is parallel lines when the two parallel lines are cut by a transversal then interior alternate angles and the exterior alternate angles are equal corresponding angles are equal co interior or the allied angles will be supplementary that is 180 degree so when the two parallel lines are cut by transversal then the interior alternate angles uh, will be equal and the exterior alternate angles will also be equal corresponding angles will uh, will become equal the co interior or the allied angles will become supplementary that is the sum of the co interior angles will become 180 degree important note this is only valid when the lines are parallel so now let, let's see an one example as we can see in this figure there are two parallel lines the first one is the parallel line PQ and the another parallel line is parallel line RS and there is one transversal which is intersecting these two parallel lines which is the line AB in this figure the interior alternate angles are the angle 6 and the angle 3 so as these two lines PQ and the RS are, are parallel lines therefore angle 6 will be equals to angle 3 and the angle 4 will be equals to angle 2 so now let's see the exterior alternate angle so angle 5 and the angle 8 are the one pair of exterior alternate angles as this uh, as we know this both lines are parallel so we can say that angle 5 will be equals to angle 8 and the another pair that is angle 1 will be equals to angle 7 so now let's see the point, uh, corresponding angles so uh, the one angle formed on the exterior part that is angle 5 and the another angle is formed in the interior part and it is lying on the same side of the transversal therefore angle 5 will uh, and the angle 3 are the one pair of uh, corresponding angles so this angle 5 and angle 3 will be equals to each other so now next angle 1 and the angle 2 are the another pair of corresponding angles so they will be equal to each other next is angle 6 and the angle 8 are the another pair uh, so the angle 6 will be equals to angle 8 angle 4 will be equals to angle 7 so now next let, let we see co interior or allied angles angle 4 and uh, and the angle 3 are are the one pair of co, co interior angles as as we can see in the interior part of the parallel lines the the interior angles lying on the same side of the transversal will become the co interior angle so the sum of the angle 4 and the angle 3 will becomes to 180 degree so same wise the angle 6 and the angle 2 are the another pair of co interior angles therefore the angle 6 plus angle 2 will be equals to angle 180 degree i hope everyone understood my topic concepts of transversal and parallel lines especially now i thank my math sir that is suman sir for giving me an opportunity for presenting my presentation
and i also thank my parents thank you